Galloway. Got it, Skipper. Yeah, I'll bring him. He's my partner, after all. What have we got? New case. White female dumped in plain sight in the grass at the end of Hill Street. Hacks are all over it. Captain's trying to fend him off. That sounds awfully similar. The first rule of police work is make no assumptions until you've seen the evidence. Skipper wants you to have your newspaper face on, college boy. I think I know the place where they found the lady. It overlooks Sunset Boulevard. Let's go. Now, boys, boys, you know as much as I do. I'll be holding a press conference once the sword of justice on the crazed sex... Captain, aren't Edwards. there similarities between this murder and the murder of Celine Henry? And of Elizabeth Short, for that matter. So you don't matter. believe there's a crazed sex killer at large boys, preying on women? Boys, be sensible. We have the greatest police force in all the world, with the greatest scientific investigators at our disposal. How can any killer continue to be that? Be advised. We keep the gas chamber at San Quentin primed for the sons of Cain, who continue to believe they can take a life in the city of angels. Yeah, right. Any new leads in the Dahlia case? Run along, boys, and let these officers get to work. We have God's work to do here, and it can't be delayed. What do we have, Captain? Another woman sacrificed. Speak to Carruthers. I want daily reports, gentlemen. Just Detective, awful. I was first on scene. No, sir. You find her, Gonzalez? Not me. Family out for a stroll. I was first reporting. And you show me the body. It's under the pepper tree, this way. How bad is it? Come on, you can tell me. Can't be much help to you, Phelps. Here she is. Similar remote. To what? The Dahlia? I don't think so. Celine Henry. That's a closed case. This is probably another sad sack who lost his temper with a broad who wouldn't put out. Are you a suspect, Rusty? Watch your mouth, Phelps. All I'm saying is we've got enough to do without reopening closed cases. Talk me through it, Mouth. Severely battered, on display. Footprints would indicate that she has been stomped. Size of the footprints would seem to indicate a smallish men's shoe. What size shoe did Mendez wear? You finished? No, I'm not. At a glance, I would say strangulation is the cause of death. I'll need to do further tests for semen. Angry boyfriend. If they were married, they'd be at home. Not humping out here in Lover's Lane. You mind if I examine the body? Be my guest. Is it reported in the press? Sure was. Every detail a copycat would want was there in the story. Well, we have a name. Never the same. Can you run right. Deirdre Muller by R and I? Back in a second. If the motive was robbery, why not take the money? Detectives. R&I says a Deidre Mahler of 130 North Bonnie Bray was reported missing this morning by her husband, Hugo Mahler. what I tell you? Let's grab the husband, take him downtown, and work him over. We could have this wrapped up by lunchtime. What about not making assumptions and going on the evidence?
still might be some play in the boyfriend angle. I thought we were on our way to lock up the husband. If he doesn't work, just go easy, Phil. If he doesn't work out, that is. Deirdre Muller has suffered enough. More than enough. You shouldn't make disparaging comments about her without even the slightest inkling of what she was like. She was a woman, wasn't she? Yeah, around about my third divorce, I realized women might not be the pure angels we imagine. You're married, ain't you, Phelps? Don't make any insinuations about my wife. Hey, she's a woman. She's the mother of my children. <laughs> you're a father, Cole? But don't tell me your eye don't bend. This conversation is over. Please, you've got to call for help. He doesn't look real good. Quick, what happened? Some punk held up my stand. This guy tried to help and got a bullet for his trouble. He got hit and hightailed it through the parking lot. Get going! Any closer? I'll pull. No. What are you waiting for, Phelps? Up and at him. I'll hold up here, Phelps. Car 11K calling KGPL. Shots fired. Suspect is down. We're code four, but I need an ambulance on Grand between 4th and 5th Streets. 11K, Roger on your ambulance. All units, be advised, the suspect is down on Grand between 4th and 5th Streets. What's the situation? Half a dozen shooters, sir. Cold-blooded sons of bitches. Real professionals. What do you mean? Witnesses say they bounced in, aced the guards, and went straight downstairs. Christ knows who they're working for, but whatever's in that vault, they want it bad. They blocked the goddamn stairs. Detective, take the elevator. All right, I'll wait here. Don't give them a chance to regroup. Wish me luck. Wrong floor, please, man. You are the buddies upstairs are dead. That leaves you, pal.
Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Is your father home? He'll be home soon. He's been out looking for mommy. What's your name, miss? Michelle Eloise Mahler. Can we come in? I suppose so. Thank you. Could you have a seat for me, Michelle? We're going to have a look around. Not sure this means much. Work boots. Size eight. No sign of a wedding ring. Elgin wristwatch. Probably the same one snatched from her body. Is this about mommy? Daddy is trying to find her. Please tell me she's okay. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, Michelle, but your mother is dead. <laughs> Do you think you could answer a few questions for us? I could try. Some of your mother's jewelry was missing. Can you describe her things? Ring, a watch. I never paid much attention to that stuff. I know it's painful, Michelle, but this may be important. She wore a wedding ring? Mommy chose it herself. A rose gold wedding band and a matching diamond and ruby engagement ring. She wore a watch? Yes, a yellow gold Elgin watch. Daddy bought it for her birthday. We had a fight. It was kind of a makeup present. <laughs> When did you last see your mother? Yesterday afternoon. I went to a dance at Belmont High. Mommy was supposed to pick me up, but she didn't show. So what did you do then? I was upset. Daddy came instead. So you were hanging around the school for quite a while. What happened with your father? I don't know. I called and called and finally he answered. He came straight away then. Your mom and dad are uh, happily married? What are you saying? Of course they are. They weren't happy, were they, Michelle? Did your father ever hit your mother? Just the once. She said she would leave him if he ever did it again. He brought her a brooch pin to make up for it. And he always wore her golden butterfly. Thanks, Miss Muller. You have been very brave. Hey! What gives? Daddy, the police are here. Go to your room, here. please, Michelle. I'll talk to the police. Daddy, mommy is gone. Go to your room, young lady. She's not even out of school. You can't come in here interrogating her like she's Your some kind of... Your wife was found murdered this morning. Found? What? The... But, but she only... We have some questions that we would like to ask you. Sure, yeah. Yeah, I'll do my best. What size shoe do you wear, Mr. Muller? Why do you ask? It's routine, sir. Simple process of elimination. Nines, I think. Why are you lying to me, Mr. Muller? Why would I lie to you at a time like this? 
That's funny. The work boots we found here are size eights. Why lie about it if you've got nothing to hide? Because I always get teased about the size of my feet. <laughs> you know, small feet, small... Always been true in my experience. You phoned in a missing persons report this morning? Yeah, that's right. Uh, my wife didn't come home last night. She left around... She left around 9.30. Uh, Michelle was out at dance. She called me to let me know that Deidre didn't turn up. And you didn't report that she was missing till this morning? That's very unusual, Mr. Muller. Not to mention suspicious. Look, I, I was annoyed with her. That's why I was waiting for her to come home. Why, you telling me something different? You better think about leaving, or you're going to have some trouble on your hands. So you were here all night. You stayed in while your wife went out to pick up your daughter? Yes, that's correct. You should come clean if you're having an affair, or if there's something going on. I told you I was here. Were you saying I wasn't? So why did you take so long to answer the phone when your daughter called? Okay, I went out for a while. I was, I was driving around. It's my way of relaxing. Your wife was beaten and then strangled. In your case, you have no alibi and a history of violence towards your wife. That's not, that's not true, goddammit! I think you set this up, Hugo. I think you kicked up a fuss about staying home for an alibi. Then you followed your wife and murdered her. You're out of your mind coming in here, making accusations like that. Come out into the yard and I'll make you take that back, mister. Getting hostile with us is a very bad idea, Hugo. I'm no murderer. Make some arrangements for your daughter and then present yourself to Central Station for questioning. You gotta be kidding me, Phelps. Put the cuffs on it. This is an outrage. I didn't kill my wife. Your daughter is in the next room, Muller, so I'm giving you a break. Don't make me change my mind, and don't make me come looking for you. We should go back in there and bust his ass. One, we need to break his alibi, check phone records, canvas the neighbors. Two, we have motive of domestic violence, which probably goes for half the men in L.A. Three, we have no evidence tying him to the crime scene. Hello? Detective! Yes, ma'am. I heard the terrible news over the radio. And you can help us with our inquiries? Yes, sir. They had a row last night. I heard Mrs. Muller screaming. Did you see Mrs. Muller come home late last night at all? No, not at all. I did see Mr. Muller put something in the incinerator earlier this morning, though. I told you he was our guy. Now let's get this bum downtown and into a cell. Look, there he is now. Step away from the incinerator. Don't let him get away. Okay, but no shooting. We need this guy to make the case. Doesn't look good, Hugo. I, I can explain the blood. Get him booked in at Central, officer. Then put him in an interview room. We'll be speaking with him later. And inform the cat. Yes, sir, detective. Is there someone you can call, miss? I, I don't... No one's home and... You need somewhere to stay, Michelle. You have other family? Grandparents? Aunts or uncle? Call Aunt Helen, but she lives in Bakersfield and... Call her. We're going to get someone down here from Juvenile Hall to talk to you in the meantime. We ought to get some uniforms down here, clean up, take care of the kid.
Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need an address on a Belmont High School. Checking for you, Detective. Belmont High, 1575 West 2nd Street. Thanks. Calm down! I'm surprised, you know. I didn't make the husband for it. Always make the husband, Phelps. Nine times out of ten, it's the closest person to the Vic who does the deed. God knows I've wanted to kill some wives in my day. Lex Parsimonii. What? The law of parsimony. Occam's razor. The simplest explanation is most likely the correct one. You know, you could have said that without getting all liturgical on me. I'll try to dumb things down from now on. Appreciate it. And try this one on for size. Rusty's razor. How's that go? You blame the guy that's banging her. Ah, of course. The famous Lex Ignoramus. Close his cases, Cole. Puts a lot of people away, that one. Any central you Saturday's the spring unveiling, Emmy. It's the first season since Fabergrashing's over. We have to go. I told you, I can't Saturday. I'm busy. Busy where? You're going on another drive with Davy Gardner, aren't you? So what if I am? Go, Phelps. I'll take the car and see if I can cut him off. He looks dangerous. Eleven K, go ahead. Eleven K, see the janitor. A green nineteen forty six coupe registered to a Mrs. Hugo Moeller has been found in the parking lot adjoining the Belmont High School and playing field. Eleven K code two. Okay. Who's asking? We can do this the easy way. Name's Eli Rooney. You've been in trouble with the law before, Eli? Some. What are you doing around here? I like to keep an eye on the children. Strictly paternal, is it, Eli? Don't sass me, boy. A woman was abducted here last night, Eli, and murdered. And I would love to make you for that, you oaky motherfucker. Well, I wouldn't know nothing about that. A woman, you say? I like them a little younger than that. Turn out your pockets, Eli. Now, why would I do that? Because I'm about to break your fucking skull, Eli. You're under arrest, Eli. You're in very deep trouble. Get some backup down here, Rusty. We need to get this one downtown and into a cell. I'll tell them we got a kitty raper coming in. They can roll out the red carpet. What time did you see the person park the car? Late last night, after school social, maybe 1 a.m. I've been keeping a good eye out lately. We've had problems with the child molester. Eli Rooney. We've met him. Filthy son of a bitch. He was here yesterday before the dance. Was it him you saw park the car? I don't know, sir. I'd like to say yes, but the truth is it was pretty dark. Would you say Rooney is violent? Yes, sir. I would say so, yes. Thanks for your help. Blood and skin samples. 
We better get Ray Pinker out here. The overalls are stenciled HM. Muller is a mechanic. I wonder what Eli does for a living. It's from a Chrysler. Could be important. Phelps badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need interrogation set up at Central for both suspects being held in the Mahler homicide case. Certainly, Detective. I'll get in touch with the watch commander. Thanks, ma'am. I say we make Rooney for this. I think we should lay it on him. He was near the car, he had her jewelry, the DA will love him for it. Even if he didn't do it? Who cares whether he did it? You have kids, Phelps? He needs to be taken permanently out of harm's way. And we let Mueller slide? For a while. He gets a free pass for now. I don't know about this. My gut says Mueller. We caught him trying to destroy evidence in his backyard. And that was his car with the bloody tools in it. I never said it wasn't Mueller. Hell, he probably killed his wife, deprived that poor kid of a mother. But he's not in immediate danger to anyone else. Rooney's a threat to every kid at Belmont. He's a peeper, Rusty. We can pick him up for something else. You really want to run that risk? If we survive this, it's going to be a miracle. Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need interrogation set up at Central for both suspects being held in the Mahler homicide case. I'll get in touch with the watch commander. Thanks for your help. I say we make Rooney for this. I think we should lay it on him. He was near the car, he had her jewelry, the DA will love him for it. Even if he didn't do it? Who cares whether he did it? You have kids, Phelps? He needs to be taken permanently out of harm's way. And we let Mueller slide? For a while. He gets a free pass for now. I don't know about this. My gut says Mueller. We caught him trying to destroy evidence in his backyard, and that was his car with the bloody tools in it. I never said it wasn't Mueller. Hell, he probably killed his wife, deprived that poor kid of a mother. But he's not in immediate danger to anyone else. Rooney's a threat to every kid at Belmont. He's a peeper, Rusty. We can pick him up for something else. You really want to run that risk? Just stay concentrated in the cartons. Phelps, Rusty, thanks for coming. Can you blood type the shoes that we bagged and see if they're a match? Sure. It'll all be in the report, but I'm assuming you want the details now? Please. Cause of death is strangulation? Correct. Take a look at the samples on the bench.
What are the normal uses for that kind of rope? On boats, mooring lines. Correct. Although Ray says that they're sometimes used as bell ropes in churches. So are we looking for a, a sailor or a minister? Well, in my experience, sailors seem to have the greater libido. Was Mrs. Muller criminally attacked? No external or internal traces of semen. Thanks, Mal. Anything else comes up, you let us know. Not exactly the happiest of places, the coroner's office. Carruthers is a good man, professional, diligent. If you're working with a pro, it's easy to overlook the grim realities of a place like that. Funny job, that. The coroner's. How so? You know, you don't want them enjoying their work too much. The wrong kind of man can get awfully lonely rattling around a joint full of corpses. Rusty, that's like something out of the pulps. You've been reading the same ones as me? I thought you were usually too drunk to get through a magazine. You know, if I close one eye and squint, you can just about make out the print. You better not go soft on me in here, Phelps. We'll work the evidence, Rusty. Let him do the rep. Are they ready? Bowler's in two and the pervert's in one. Get in there and get a conviction. Boys, you've really come through this time. Captain, uh, we were on our way to interview Eli Rooney. Yes, Phelps, I know. This particular fiend is an old acquaintance. I have tried to reaffirm his belief in a wrathful and terrible God. Whichever way it goes, I'll be dealing personally with him. You look like you've had it rough. You see me asking for your sympathy, boy? My family a roadkill during the Dust Bowl. But you have a job. A parolee has to have a job, correct? I had me a job down in San Pedro. I'm looking for something new. This place you worked have a name? Hennessy Marine. You can't miss place, big yellow letters HM out front. They give you any work wear, Eli? Sure. Green coverall. Dang thing was hot, felt like I was back in the pen wearing it. You ever tie up any of your victims, Eli? It's not a nice thing to go calling them. What would you call them? I can't say. I learned a long time ago not to go talk about the things I like. Talking about it just seems to get people's dander up. Answer the goddamn question, Rooney, before I brain you! See what I mean? Short answer is yes. You have any preference regarding rope, Eli? I know a good rope from a bad rope, if that's what you mean. That's not what you mean, is it? Any old rope will do me fine. A boy like you, Eli, must prefer McGay for roping, am I right? I prefer braid, tie hitch and braid, it stays tied. You killed Mrs. Muller and stole her jewelry. That ain't st Come on, Eli. How else are you gonna pay for yourself? I got me a pension from the First War. It ain't much, but it does pay some. I don't like you, Eli. I think you're an evil man. I think you try to pass off your pain to other people. I can't make you for this case. But my consolation is that I don't think you will be out of prison for very long. You can count on it, shitbird. By the way, Eli, the captain and the hat squad would like to talk to you next. Any idea what they might want to talk about? For my money, Hugo Muller's our number one suspect. The evidence is solid. I think it's time we hit him with it. Your next door neighbor heard screaming coming from your house. You were burning your blood-stained shoes. You have no one who can confirm your whereabouts last night. Your daughter says you're a violent man. We have everything we need to send you to death row. And all you have to say for yourself is, I didn't do it. I swear I didn't kill her. Give me that lie test. I can prove it. 
Why did you burn your shoes, Hugo? Because I knew you'd never believe me. Are you going to tell me what I want to know, or do we have to take it out of you in lumps? Give it your best shot. I can take whatever you're throwing. Do you know anything about ropes, Hugo? As much as the next man. I, I was a scout. I learned some more in the army. Do you know anything about braided ropes? Some. Uh, they're mainly used for um, mooring lines, hawsers, you know, that kind of stuff. We don't have much use for them in the machine shop. We use chain hoists. We found your wife's car. Someone parked it at the school late last night. Do you have anything to say about that? It wasn't me. Where do you keep your work clothes? I keep them at work in my locker. Enough lies, Hugo. Your overalls put you at the scene of the crime last night. My overalls are... Green overalls, bloodstained with the initials H.M. found in the trunk of your wife's car. They can't be mine. Why, Hugo? Because if they were yours, they'd be in the incinerator too? Your wife was beaten with a tire iron, Hugo. An appropriate choice of tool for a mechanic. I know nothing about any tire iron. You're gonna die for this, Muller. Better give me something if I'm going to believe your story. My conscience is clear. You can't badger me into admitting anything. We're letting you go for now, Muller. Go home and see your daughter and work on your story. It's got more holes than a batting cage. That's the guy. Detective, that's him. That's the guy who parked the car. I'm sure of it. Hey, he's getting away. That's not true. I can't. I can't go to jail. Sleep on me. Get me back in close. Hit him, Cole. Spin him out. I'll try to shoot out his tires. Wish me luck. Clean this asshole off the road. Tram! Do sex Mackinac. We got lucky, Russ. You and your goddamn Latin, Phelps. It ends here, Hugo. Once we get the janitor's statement, you'll be staring down a murder charge. I have to say I'm disappointed. I stood in front of a troop of reporters and made promises. Promises of swift and fearful retribution, and you bring me an armful of vagary and happenstance. You made the department look bad, lad. Do it again and your career as a policeman will come to an abrupt and ignominious end. You two are back on the streets. Fine street criminals case will come when you've revived my faith in your abilities. Now get out of here! <laughs>